When I first started flying my Air 2S, I was overwhelmed by all the different video formats and settings. So I pretty much shot everything in auto 1080p 30 or 4K 30, which is actually what I recommend new flyers to do so you can focus on your flying while still getting some great footage. The footage you're watching right now was shot in 4K 30 HLG with no post editing, which I think is the sweet spot for most of what you'll be shooting. But after flying for a while, I switched from auto to pro and started experimenting with the different shooting modes and formats. Here's a short video showing some of the things I learned along the way. Hey, welcome back everyone, it's Joe from Ghost1917. It would be too comprehensive to make one video for both the photo and video capabilities of the Air 2S. So this video focuses on the video capabilities. I'll be posting a second video going over the photo capabilities in the near future. I shot each of the scenes using the different modes and settings and put together this video showing them side by side so you can see the comparisons for yourself. First, we'll look at the three available formats. Normal, which is 8-bit, and D-Log and HLG, which are both 10-bit. The bit refers to the amount of color data collected. It gets a little bit complicated, but basically 8-bit stores 256 RGB values, where 10-bit stores 1024. If you're interested in learning more about the differences between the two, there's a plethora of information on the internet. Just search 8-bit versus 10-bit video, oh, and grab an extra large cup of coffee, because exciting it is not. The normal format gives you a pretty good final product, but very limited color data, so there's not a whole lot you can do in post. But for posting your videos to social media, it's just fine. Also, I feel that the normal format tends to oversaturate the footage, giving it an unnatural look. The D-Log, on the other hand, gives you more colors than you know what to do with, making post-production possibilities endless. However, it's also very flat, so you do need to do some editing in post. And honestly, without a good LUT, it does take some time. So unless you're making an epic cinematic movie, either normal or HLG should be more than adequate. Now, HLG is like Baby Bear's bed, just right. I feel it gives you enough 10-bit color data to do some post editing, although very little is needed. It balances the shadows and highlights almost perfectly, and the file size is right in between normal and D-Log. I simply add a little saturation, bring down the exposure, and presto, I have a perfect video. At least I think so. In this side-by-side -side footage, you can see how the normal oversaturates to the point where the colors don't look real. The D-Log color corrected gives you more realistic colors, but like I said, it does take some time in post-editing to get there, and the shadows are still not as detailed as HLG. And although I wish my lawn looked that green, the color in the HLG footage is pretty much spot on the actual lawn color. If you look at the garden bed with the beach grass, you can see the fantastic job HLD does with the shadows. I'm sure those who are more experienced in editing can get the D-Log footage to the perfect levels, but for my purposes, at least to this point, the HLG footage gives me enough color data to do what I need to do to end up with a pretty good looking final product. The HLG footage gives you great colors, great shadows, and decent enough contrast where only a slight adjustment to exposure and saturation is needed to end up with some pretty nice footage. Again, here you can see in both the sky and the water, the normal oversaturates the colors, crushes the shadows, and without additional post editing, the D-Log will do the same, where the HLG gives you the more realistic colors as well as great shadows and near perfect contrast with only slight corrections needed. I like the more natural look the HLG provides, but if you like, you can easily add more saturation and reduce the exposure even further to get that cinematic look. This beach footage was shot with no filter in midday bright sunlight and no post editing. And I feel the normal mode still smashes the shadows where the HLG still produces a pretty perfect final product. This side-by-side -side gives you the two extremes of the overprocessed normal and the totally flat D-Log. It really highlights how the two handle the colors and the shadows differently. Another great feature of the Air 2S is its ability to zoom while shooting video. Here's a quick outline of the available zoom levels at the different resolutions and FPS. 5.4K has no zoom, 4K 30 has two and four times zoom, 2.7K 30 has two, four, and six times zoom, 1080p 30 has 2, 4, and 8 times zoom. 4K 60 has no zoom. 2.7K 60 has 2 and 4 times zoom. And 1080p 60 has 2, 4, and 6 times zoom. 
It's important to note that zoom features are only available in normal shooting format. They are not available in D-Log or HLG. Here you can see the difference at two times zoom between 1080p, 2.7K and 4K at 30 FPS. This is a freeze frame to give you a better look at the difference in noise. This is the same footage at four times zoom. The noise in the 1080p is noticeable, but barely between 2.7K and 4K. Until you look at a still where you can clearly see the difference in noise between the 2.7K and the 4K. The Air 2S is capable of shooting in four different video resolutions, 1080p, 2.7K, 4K, and 5.4K, and in the three different formats I mentioned earlier, normal, D-Log, and HLG. All but the 5.4K can be shot at up to 60 FPS, with the 1080p able to shoot as high as 120 FPS, which makes for some pretty good slow-mo footage. And although the 1080p 120 FPS gives you decent results, I found that shooting in 4K 60 and slowing it to right around 50% delivers a cleaner, crisper, and buttery smooth final product. I think the 4K 60 slowed to 50% results in a lot less noise while still giving you a smooth playback and great color separation, which is clearly evident when you zoom in. Again, only my opinion, but you take a look at the two videos side by side and decide for yourself. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. The quality of the 1080p, 2.7K, and 4K are all more than enough for most purposes, with the differences between the three being almost imperceivable on most phones. The real difference is noticeable on large screens, such as PCs. I very rarely shoot in 5.4K, as it's quite cumbersome to edit and utilizes a lot of drive space. But here's some footage comparing 4K to 5.4K. I shot it in the three different formats, normal, D-Log, and HLG, so you can get an idea of how different they look. Personally, I really can't tell the difference between the two, I feel like you would have to be shooting for a very large presentation in order to truly benefit from the 5.4K. And most people don't even own monitors or TVs large enough and with that higher resolution to truly appreciate the difference. So the highest resolution I normally shoot in is 4K at either 30 FPS or 60 FPS if I think I'm gonna need some slow-mo footage, as I feel this resolution gives me more than enough detail to zoom in and crop when needed. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about the Air 2S video formats or if you'd like to share your personal preferences when using the different video settings. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.